Welcome to my semi-empty sitting room. You might be thinking, Hermione, I've never seen your space so empty. Have you become a minimalist? No. Not today. <laughs> today I've somewhat emptied my dining room because I'm actually going to show you two different ways to style the space. As you might know, in the UK we are now in lockdown number three and um, I've been keeping sane by moving things around in my house, which is what I do regardless of lockdown or not. But this time I thought I would make it useful. I thought I'd show you a video of two different ways to style a sitting room. One's a little bit more colorful and eclectic and the other is softer, a little bit more pink, if you like millennial pink. And um, then maybe you can tell me which one you prefer at the end of the video. I just thought it was a fun way to spend some time together while the world is spiraling out of control. <laughs> And you might have noticed a very stylish addition to my sitting room behind me. I'm working with Bems on today's video who make sofa covers for Ikea furniture. They make incredibly stylish covers and I'm so excited to work with them. I will tell you about that in due course, but first of all, let's see what the sitting room looked like a couple of months ago when I just got the skirting boards finished. As you can see, all of the hard work has been done. The building, the painting, the plastering, the skirting boards, finally finished. I'm pretty sure I have nothing left to do in here, thank goodness. So now I can just play around and this is what it looked like, but obviously um, it just, it needed a bit of something. I hadn't put any art back onto the walls and I hadn't really given the styling a huge amount of thought. I just put stuff back in an order that I liked. So today, let's sort that out. I've got some DIYs and some styling ideas up my sleeve. This first look is gonna be a little bit more colorful. So um, let's go. Okay, so the first thing I think we need to talk about is the mirror behind me. I've got a little DIY project to do with this, but obviously I didn't want to do anything radical because it's an antique and at some point in time when we're not in lockdown, it needs resilvering. And I'd love to gild it or to at least repaint it, but not a project for today. However, I did want to make a bit more of a statement out of it. So let me show you what I did. Bizarre twist of fate, we have exactly enough to finish the entire mirror. Let's plug it in now because imagine if for some reason they didn't work, that'd be fun. <laughs> okay, moment of truth. <gasps> That's so cool. <gasps> Green, blue, yellow, red, purple, <gasps> pink. Oh! oh my gosh, I love it. This is, oh, this is so good. So now the mirror looks exactly the same from the front, but I mean, it's kind of cool. This is so nice in the evening when I'm cuddled up on my sofa and I want the lights down low. Speaking of my sofa, let's chat about it. This is my couch. It's the Ikea Soda Ham and I have it in the dark gray color. And when I got it out of the box, I loved it. It's this lovely mid-century style couch and it just fits really well with my style. However, I'm not a huge fan of the colour of the covers or the legs that came with it. It just didn't feel very individual or personalised, which is where Ben's come in and they very kindly sent me not one, but two covers to show you. So this is the first one, which is going to go with the first look. This is the Panama Cotton Regular Fit 
in time and it's this lovely green color i've been dying to try a green count in my sitting room and this is a very budget friendly way to do that if you've already got an ikea couch and you want to switch things up maybe try a new sofa cover from Benz. i will say this was very very easy to put on the original ikea covers were a bit like trying on my jeans after christmas a little bit too tight but the Ben sofa covers fit like a glove and they just change the entire space i also changed the legs i opted for these lovely mid-century style legs they were really affordable and they completely changed the look of the sofa Ben's has a ton of different designs in any color you can imagine and loads of different finishes and fabrics so if you want to take a look i'm going to leave them linked down below and i'll show you the second cover a little bit later but first let's get into the styling of the green room So here is how look number one turned out in my sitting room. I love the green couch. I played with some brighter yet kind of muted colours for a very different feel that I don't really use in my house very often. You know I love my pinks. So this was just a bit of a change for me and I will say I've been battling with some very dark days and lots of rain. There wasn't much sunshine to film this so you can't really see how bright some of the colours are in this footage. The couch is much greener and the cushions really pop and it just looked really cool in person and it just feels a bit more eclectic than what I normally go for. So it was fun to play around with but now we've got to move on to the pink one. <laughs> from the pink couch oh i thought the green couch was good but the pink couch the pink couch i love the pink couch <laughs> this pink velvet couch feels so luxurious i would struggle to believe that this is an ikea couch if i hadn't seen it for myself i really love this cover from bems it's so soft and it just it looks so cool it's it's perfect i'm in love with it before i hop into the styling though i did do one little diy this is an ikea hack basket lampshade so let me show you how i did that first into this really thin piece of woven wood here to avoid cutting into this that way I can do it with scissors so I'm gonna take my light cable and place it in the middle and then I'm gonna draw around it should have something that looks a bit like that go in with the scissors 
Tiny bit more. simple to do anyone could make it and if you want to see some of my DIYs before they make it to YouTube make sure to follow me on Instagram because I actually made this into a reel before I put it on YouTube so um, check my Instagram page out if you want to see a few more DIYs once in a while anyway with that done I was ready to style the rest of the space so this is how I did it styling is done. I think it's about time I showed you what the pink room looks like. For this one I really wanted the couch to pop out so I decided to make everything else look a little bit more soft so I brought in the looped cane rattan desk. I also made it match with this pink velvet stool from Aldi that I bought a few years ago. I moved the position of the mirror and I actually love it so much more on this wall. It really opens up the space. And instead of a coffee table, I actually just used this poof from Ikea, which I stacked a few of my books on and a candle. For the prints, I put this Decenio one on my desk and the two above the couch are from Unique. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching and thank you so, so much to Bems for sponsoring today's video. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and you can see more of my videos where for the next few weeks at least, I will be moving more furniture around because I am in lockdown. Ah, oh, better days are coming. Anyway, thank you so much. Uh, I hope you have a brilliant week and I'll see you soon. Bye.